I remember when I first started working out. I remember when it got to four or five months of me actually consistently working out. I started to see some progress in the gym, but it was very, very minimal. And I always thought I could actually have more progress. And I was watching all of these fitness YouTubers. They'll be showing their massive biceps and chest. And I'm here out here with puny arms and shit. It did get to me. I was like, surely there must be a way that I can get more progress faster. Because I've been lifting for half a year now. And I still have a lot of body fat. And I don't have a lot of muscle to show. But for some reason, no matter how much harder I lifted in the gym, no matter how much I pushed to failure, my muscle results will be very similar. And it will not just go past that barrier that I wanted. And you guys might think right there, genetics. But it was actually not genetics. I just pointed there when the camera is right there, bro. It's been a long time since I recorded. And then I started to use this one principle, this one training method. And after that, my chest especially blew the fuck up. My arms got bigger, shoulders got bigger. Everything just fucking got bigger. Building muscle is simple, but it's not easy. The title was a little bit clickbait. Obviously, it's very hard building muscle. It's hard training to failure. It's, uh, it's hard eating right, sleeping right. But it's actually very simple. I'm going to break it down in this video. Before we get into the video, I want to remind you that I have a free Discord server for young men on self-improvement. So if you're on self-improvement, you want to get a better body, you want to boost your testosterone levels, go join that right now. And I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching where if you want to take your testosterone to the next level, if you want to build muscle way faster than you did before, then I do also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. You'll see it in the Discord. But that is completely optional. The Discord server itself is completely for free. So you could just join that. You don't have to do the one-on-one -on -one coaching. Okay. There are only two things that makes us build muscle. Number one is genetics. And number two is hard work. So I'm not going to get too into genetics since we can't obviously change it. But I just want to remind you guys how important genetics is for building muscle. And I hate these people, these fitness influencers saying, oh, genetics doesn't matter as long as you push hard, bro. You know, bro, if you eat protein, chicken breast will get massive. That's not how it fucking works. Genetics play a massive role in muscle building. Let me give you a couple of examples. Myostatin. Myostatin is basically the enemy of bodybuilding. It makes us stop building too much muscle. And for a good cause, actually, for natural selection, it's like humans were not hardwired to have so much muscle. And the opposite of that is follostatin. And that's basically makes us build muscle more. And you can have gen different genetics for them. That's why a lot of people could build muscle easier. But it goes way more than just myostatin. It's also androgen receptor sensitivity. A lot of people don't have sensitive androgens. So when they try to boost their testosterone, when they eat healthy, it just doesn't bind to the receptor, which ultimately doesn't make it work. There's also a concentration of fast twitch muscle fibers or slow twitch muscle fibers. There's just so much shit that I don't want to get into in this video, but I've been studying a lot about genetics and muscle building and why certain ethnicities on average, guys, don't call me on this, on average, are better in certain maybe sports, maybe bodybuilding. So I'm going to make a couple of videos on that later on, but this video is not about genetics. So one part is genetics that you can't change. The second part is hard work. And I put hard work into this massive umbrella term and hard work consists of going to the gym and pushing yourself to failure. Not just going there like a little pussy, doing a couple of bicep curls, not even changing your face, putting down and going home. That won't build you enough muscle if you think that, right? You need to train to failure. I'm not talking about every set here, but a couple of sets, you need to be fucking struggling. Your brain needs to be bulging out, right? You need to give a signal for your muscles to grow. Also your workout split. I saw so many people, especially my friends when they first started the gym. I'm going to do this guy's split because he's massive. Don't follow a guy's split just because he's big. People forget genetics and obviously fucking steroids, right? What matters the most is that you actually do the fucking split. So, in my opinion, full body workouts are the best. And I can get in into it in another video. But long story short, when you do compound movements, your testosterone growth hormone goes up, right? And that ultimately makes you build more muscle. That's the short version of it. If you don't like full body workouts and you only go to the gym once a week with that... But if you do bro split, you go to the gym four or five times a week, then you should definitely do bro split. So don't focus on your split for now until you're actually consistent in the, in the gym. And no matter what your split is, you will still go. But long story short, start your workout off with a couple of sets of a compound movement. Bench press, fucking pull-ups, deadlifts, squats, 
don't matter. So that's the training aspect gone. And the more important aspect to building muscle, believe it or not, is diet and sleep. All on dog recovery, right? Your diet needs to be high in micronutrients for testosterone production. If you don't know where it is, quick explanation. It's basically just for building muscle. Let me just get put this in your head right now. More testosterone equals more muscle. So eat a diet high in micronutrients, eat red meat, eat avocados, boron, zinc, magnesium, all of that. I get into a lot of it in my other videos. You could go watch them. So you need to be optimizing your diet fully as best as you can. You work out very hard, you forget to consume carbohydrates, cause all goes through the roof and you don't build as much muscle. You don't eat enough protein after a workout, muscle protein synthesis isn't all the way there. If you don't eat enough fat, testosterone drops, muscle building is fucked. So you need to fully optimize your diet. And if you really want to optimize your diet, I recommend just go checking out my other videos. Lastly, is sleep. Sleep is super underrated. I don't know what the fuck happened to these Red Bull YouTubers saying, Oh, men don't sleep. I don't sleep zero hours a night. I'm a hard work, bro. That's not how it fucking works. Less sleep just ruins every part of your life. Don't listen to these people saying, I don't sleep and I'm still successful. Especially if you're between the ages of 10. I'm going to say no one's watching this video at 10 years old. From 12 to 20, at least. That's the period when you are growing. So you need to sleep 8, 9, 10 hours. So I recommend 8 to 10 quality hours per night. Even as an adult. Because when you work out, especially if you do full body workouts, your body's very tired and needs a lot of sleep. Don't think you could get away with five, six hours a night every day because it will fuck you up. It will mess you up mentally and it will ruin your muscle progress. It will kill your testosterone. It's just not good. I want to remind you that I have a free Discord server that explains pretty much everything that I told you now. We talk about building muscle, how to build it faster, what makes muscle building so hard. We pretty much get into the science. We also talk about bro science, we talk about actual science. It's about how to maximize testosterone based on studies and what we've previously heard and it worked for us. It's just a nice community where you could talk to each other about your goals, your progress. And it's just nice to have like-minded people on the same journey as you that you're talking to. And if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, join the Discord and it should be on announcements. You will see, you add my name and you say you want coaching and then we'll figure out the details there. I haven't been that consistent on the uploads, I understand, because I was in Turkey for a good six, seven weeks. But now, I'm back into it, I'm back in the UK, and yeah, we're going to pump these videos out, I'll see you guys later, bye.